guys, my name is Jordan, and right now I have two legs, but in a few months I may only have one. I am actively in the process of trying to decide what the best option for my future is, and I may be having my leg amputated in a few months. And that is a weird sentence that I don't think is actually sunk in just yet. And so I am recording this video to start my journey, and uh, if I do decide to have this leg amputation, I will probably start publishing these videos as part of sort of my journey of healing because I have found it really healing to me uh, with other issues in my life to talk to a camera and helps me process through things and I have found it really helpful to hear other people's journeys, other people's stories. And so uh, today is September 4th, 2018 and I'm just gonna start talking about my process in hopes that it will uh, help me work through things and help someone else maybe somewhere. So a little, bit about, a little bit about my story. I had a really bad horseback riding accident when I was 13. I am now 27. During that horseback riding accident, I shattered my ankle in a way that had orthopedic surgeons going, gosh, we've never seen this before. It's never a good thing to excite surgeons. And I had a surgery then, and then I had a surgery two months later when they had to re-break my ankle because it healed wrong. Then I had an ankle fusion at 15. I had a surgery after that. I've had surgery after surgery after surgery trying to piece my ankle back together and get it to stop hurting. It's never really stopped hurting. Now for a few years, it got to a place where I could really function and I could go hiking and horseback riding and I did MMA for two years and I was competitive in Jiu Jitsu and that is a fine life. Like it hurt, it was annoying, who cares? Like that was fine by me. But now things have progressed to a place over the last year and a half where I cannot do anything except like walk from like walk around my house and walk from my car to a building and back and even then it really hurts and I'm limping constantly and I'm in pain when I'm sitting still and it will not stop hurting and I cannot do anything. I can't do anything that I love and I can barely walk. And so I was told in my most recent surgery in March that essentially I have no options left. Like after the surgery, a few months later at the follow-up appointment, my surgeon walked into the room and was basically like, how's it feeling? And I was like, well, it still sucks. And he was like, oh, okay, well, you have no options left, bye. That was basically our conversation. And so I was really discouraged, but I thought, you know what, that does not work for me. And so I did a lot of research and I found a surgeon up in Denver who is very highly respected in his field. And I met with him a couple weeks ago with my husband and he suggested another option, which is a little risky. But he said we could do an ankle fusion of the subtalar joint, which is you have your ankle joint, then you have your subtalar joint. My ankle joint is fused, so it doesn't exist anymore. And we could fuse a subtalar joint and replace my ankle. So I had an ankle replacement and that fusion. The problem is there are no studies on how well that actually works because I have had over 10 surgeries in my life there. It's just messed up in there. The ankle is not a big joint and it's constantly swollen. There's a ton of nerve damage in there. And going in there and doing that severe of a surgery, they don't know that it would, it would actually help. And it would be a significant surgery with a lot of recovery time and learning to walk again because I haven't had an ankle joint in years. And uh, might just get me sort of walking for a few years if it worked. And then I would have to have a leg amputation anyway. So right now where I am, I've been dealing with this for over half my life. I've been having surgery after surgery after surgery for half my life trying to save a piece of my body that hurts constantly. And I am wondering if the best option isn't just to admit where it is and if the fastest way to a life that I actually get to live is not just to have it amputated. And I know that probably sounds bizarre to people and I know that a lot of people will probably comment that I'm insane or ungrateful and I'm not. I'm really grateful for the fact that I have two legs and that I can walk, but everything it hurts all the time and it's affecting other joints in my body. I have neck pain constantly in part because of it. My knee is getting messed up because I walk differently because of it. And I'm young and otherwise healthy and I don't have kids right now and I have a great support system. So it makes sense to me to have a leg amputation now uh, below the knee leg amputation. I should clarify that uh, instead of later. And some people think I'm nuts for that. But I'm meeting with a doctor on September 13th, so in just a few days, to discuss options and see where things go. But I've been talking to the amputee community, which has been amazing because there are a surprising number of people who have leg amputations when you really start talking to people. 
and there's been a lot of support and a lot of answering questions and a lot of telling me to ask questions I wouldn't have even thought to ask and I don't know how to feel about all of this. I think for a lot of people losing a limb sounds like the worst thing in the world and to me it doesn't right now but I think I'm just thinking about things from like a rational perspective like it makes sense to do this because it's the quickest way to a better life but I don't know how to measure the emotional impact of it the emotional impact of being a 27 year old girl with no leg um so that's weird <laughs> but I guess we'll just see how it goes we'll see what happens but I want to be active I want to be able to run again I haven't been able to do that since I was a little kid and uh I hope that that is an option. I hope that's something that I can do. And um, this is all kind of freaky and scary and frightening to think about, but part of me is also excited at the possibility of maybe in two years, like after the recovery is mostly done, like being able to run and being able to do stuff and being able to hike with my dogs and even just freaking walk around the block without as much pain as I have right now. So that's where I am. And uh, that's where my thought process is currently. I'm sure it will fluctuate. fluctuate. But um, thanks for listening. I don't know if uh, you personally are dealing with an amputation, thinking about it, know someone, whatever it is, but uh, I just wanna share my thoughts on where I am right now and what my story looks like at this point. Thanks guys, I will talk to you soon. I appreciate you listening, bye.